Hey everyone, Tendra here. In today's video, we'll look at the week of April 16th to April 22nd and see what I got accomplished in World of Warcraft. This week I was pretty happy. The rafting quest that allowed you to take a picture of Nat Pago was finally up, and that allowed me to complete a lot of achievements. The first one I finished up was a legendary album. That in turn allowed me to finish up Wake Me Up. With the completion of this achievement, I got the bestowed Onohar Spotter. It's a pretty nice mount. I do like it. And with that achievement finish, I got across the aisles. This gave me the storm touched buff loan. Again, this isn't a terrible looking mount, so I was pretty happy to get this one out of the way too. And with those three achievements knocked out of the way, I finished up the World of Woken. This of course gives you the Taven mount, which I was pretty happy to get. At this point I had been three weeks waiting for that quest to come up just to complete this. So when it did finally hit, it was a big relief. And this week I continued on carrying my characters up through the Emerald Dream. I was working on my last character, and that was a Horde Rogue. I did get him finished, so that means I had all 44 characters done before Season 4 hit, which was my goal with this. And being Season 4 starts up real quick, I don't think I'm going to gear up every character like I did through this, because I think my next big goal will be working on the Pandaren Remix as soon as that hits. So I'm going to play with Season 4 a little bit, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. And finally, I did get to work on my weekly farms, so let's take a look and see how I did. To start off this week, I headed over to Antorus the Burning Throne. Out of here, I'm after the Scythe of the Am Maker, and I need to do this on Mythic because I'm only after the red version. Once I got there, I made sure I was set to Mythic, and I headed in. I worked my way back to the end boss and took him out, and I got attempt at number 106 on the Scythe this week. Again, it didn't drop, so I'll have to come back here next week. Next on my list I went after the Cartel Masters Gear Collider. This drops in Tazifesh, which is a 5 man instance, but you have to do this on Mythic for the mount to drop. So I made my way over there, worked my way to the end boss and took him down. This gave me attempt number 6 on the Gear Collider, but again, I didn't see it drop this week. But I'm fairly early into farming it, so it might take a while yet. Next up on my list was Gmod. For this I had to take out Jaina Proudmore in Battle for Desire Lore, and I chose to do it on LFR this week. I headed over to the inn and I queued up, worked my way back to Jaina and took her down. This gave me attempt to number 37 on this mount, but I didn't see it drop, so I'll be back here next week. The next mount I went after was the Glacial Tide Storm. For this I have to do Battle for Desire Lore on Mythic, but I have to find a group for this because I'm not able to solo it on Mythic. So once I get a group, we head inside, use the skip and go right back to Jaina. This week with taking her down I got attempt number 35 on the mount. But again, I didn't see it drop this week, so I'll have to come back here again next week. My next farm is one of my newer farms, and that was for the Zeraleth Overseer. This drops in Sepulchre of the First One on Mythic. This I have to find a group for because I couldn't solo this. But once we do get a group, we head in, and we work our way back to the end boss. Once we take him down, I get attempt number 3 on this mount. I didn't see it drop, so of course this is one I'm going to have to come back to again next week. The next mount I went after was the Sanctum Gloom Charger. For this mount, you have to kill the nine inside the sepulchre of the first one. And right now I'm doing this on mythic, and since I'm farming gear out of here, I've been doing it with a group. But once we have a full group, we do head in and we get to the nine pretty quick. After taking them out this week, I got attempt number 18 on this mount. I still didn't see a drop, so it's another one I'm going to have to come back to next week. Now I went after vengeance, and this is by far one of the coolest looking mounts I'm farming right now. This again drops in the sanctum of domination, but this time it drops off Sylvanas. I normally do this with the same group that I do the 9 with. Once we get in there and get back to Sylvanas, we took her down this week, and I got attempt number 3. I didn't see it drop, but we did get the Dark Ranger's quiver and her bow, which was kind of cool. The hunter in our group was pretty happy. And finally, my last farm of the week was my multi-character farm. If you're not sure what that means, it's where I take 13 characters every week to the same raider instance until I see the item or mount I'm looking for drop. I've been working on Minron's head, and this is my 7th week, so let's take a look and see how I did. Have it this miserable little 
Well there we go, 7 weeks into this and I still haven't seen the mount drop. I will keep at it and I know it will drop sooner or later. Hopefully it's sooner than later. And if you're wondering this week, the armor set I'm wearing is the Bones of the Blood Hunter. This was received for completing your traveler's log, so if you happen to miss it the first time around, you're gonna have to wait until it comes up on the trading post the next time around. The only real question is how long you're gonna have to wait for this to come back up. Hopefully it doesn't take too long if you did miss it, because it is a pretty unique looking set. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. You can click on subscribe. Thanks for coming by and watching it. I'm going to send a hi to my best friend, and you all take care.